What is up, my nieces and nephews? Welcome back to another episode of Fun Uncle. And boy, oh boy, do we have a big tasty treat for you guys today. Let's dive right into it. Our crypto news is chock full of tasty morsels as El Salvador's president's $1 billion bet on Bitcoin. Polygon announces groundbreaking milestone in Swiss city. First mover as Fed hikes could drive Bitcoin adoption in emerging markets. JP Morgan is bullish on crypto as the ruble fights for survival. Genesis Digital plans away 100% clean energy mining vicinity in Sweden. Four out of six. Ethereum on chain and exchange indicators turn bullish. Is a full blown crypto rally intimate? I think so. And historically accurate Bitcoin signal is now flashing bullish. Our first news article is all about El Salvador's president buying $1 billion in Bitcoin. He said what he's going to do is take, uh, borrow a billion dollars from the treasury to stock up on Bitcoin during this dip. This is massive news because it's not just retail investors. It's not just institutions buying this dip. It's full blown countries that are buying this Bitcoin dip right now. And they're not throwing some just penny farthings this way. They're throwing a billion dollars Imagine if every country threw a billion dollars at Bitcoin right now. And you know the United States has big, deep pockets. It could be printing some money and buying some Bitcoin right now. So thank you, El Salvador, for leading the charge, for buying this dip, for giving uh, more people like myself faith during dark red days like this. So thank you. El Salvador's president is buying the dip. This is massive news for Bitcoin, my guys. Polygon announces groundbreaking milestone as Swiss city adopts crypto. Switzerland's largest city has declared Bitcoin and Tether USDT as de facto legal tender. So no longer do we have to hide money from our ex-wives using cash and Swiss banks. No, nay, no longer do we have to hide money that way. We can hide money from our ex-wives using Bitcoin and USDT in our Swiss bank accounts. So thank you, Switzerland, for doing God's work. Uh, not all heroes wear capes. So Switzerland, you have been the backbone of this country <laughs> for many years, your banking system. God bless you, Swiss banks. First mover Americans, Fed hikes could drive Bitcoin adoption in emerging markets. Well, what they mean by this is whenever inflation takes place, Cryptocurrencies and stable coins are good alternatives during depreciation. So as our cash starts to lose value, assets are a better store of money. You would not want to keep your cash in a bank where it's losing, some estimates are up to 20% per year in its value. You want that cash sitting in assets that appreciate value year over year, Bitcoin being one of those. And so, if feds if the fed continues to hike rates which they definitely 100 percent are we just don't know when and how much they're going to be for uh that will cause bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies to increase in value and that's great news for emerging markets third world countries if they put their money in assets like venezuela they will do better they will fight inflation a problem that even us americans have to fight with but venezuela has it pretty bad as their um as their currency is just like up a million percent or something like that it's absolutely insane what's happening in venezuela so thankfully crypto might might help dig them out of that hole our next article jp morgan bullish on crypto as the ruble fights for survival I don't know if you guys know about this, but there is a war going on <laughs> as Russia has invaded Ukraine and they're very thick headed about it, honestly. They, um, let's not get too much into the war here, but the real truth about this article is that the ruble is now down 40%. The Russian stock market is down 40 plus percent. It's so bad that the Russian government has closed the stock market because they fear if they open it, it will see additional losses. So whenever you have a massive country like Russia that has an army and oil reserves and 100 plus million people live in it, when their assets are falling yet cryptocurrency, this decentralized funny money some people like to make fun of, when it's doing all right, I mean, it's not down 40%. I mean, it's down, but it's not down 40% like the Russian ruble. That is great news for Bitcoin. It makes Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies look really good. So again, another one of those glass half full light at the end of the tunnel, like there's a war going on. It's really, really horrible. Uh, but thank you, Russia, for being so thick headed because you're making Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies look good 
good. Next article is Genesis Digital plans a 100% clean energy mining center in Sweden. This is massive. This is great news because one of the largest pieces of negative press that Bitcoin gets all the time is about how it's an energy hog. It requires a lot of energy to mine, which in, in turn translates into a larger carbon footprint, which accelerates global warming. Horrible. This is not, that's not good news. That's really bad for Bitcoin. Actually, when that first news started to come out last year, uh, it caused the markets to tank because yeah, it's true. That is a problem they have to deal with. And thank you, Genesis Digital, for having a 100% clean energy mining center. I hope this is uh, one of many that come this year that help clean the stigma off of Bitcoin and take us into a brighter, cleaner, and more sustainable future as far as mining is concerned. So thank you, Genesis Digital. Thank you. Thank you. Four out of six Ethereum on-chain and exchange indicators turn bullish. The majority of orders on the market are bids. And look at this one right here. Mostly bullish summary taking place. This is awesome news, guys. So I know things are down right now but this is probably not financial advice, a good opportunity to buy the dip. We might see a spring in the short term. Some short term profit might be on your horizon, not financial advice, but four out of six Ethereum on chain and exchange indicators turn bullish. I love it. Is a full blown crypto rally intimate? I love the trend theme in these news articles. This is pretty cool. Uh, I like to believe there is, not financial advice, a full blown crypto rally that is intimate. Crypto markets are currently mirroring March of 2020. I don't know if you guys remember what happened after March 2020. Prices went to new all-time highs after March of 2020. We we saw highs as we we went from three thousand dollars per Bitcoin to sixty-nine thousand dollars per Bitcoin uh, in less than two years after March of 2020. So, if this is true, I don't want to you know hype everyone up and put your hopes really really high. But I do love the optimism and the trend going on. And last but not least, this historically accurate Bitcoin signal is now flashing, according to top crypto analyst. What he's saying is that whenever Bitcoin is below the green line, that's usually a time or an indicator that price is oversold and it's a great time to get bullish on Bitcoin. So there it is dancing. It's very thin. You could hardly even see it, but it is dancing below the green line. And let's go back. It would dip below, it went up. It dipped below the green line, going up. Dip below the green line, well, you better believe it went all the way up over here. That's pretty nice, that one right there. So here's hoping that this indicator, it's been historically accurate so far, is right, and we are about to see one heck of a rally. And look, even back here, I didn't notice that one before. It dipped below the green and did a serious one-two punch up here too. I think new all-time highs is what happened. That was a 69,000 there. So the, more of the same might be happening. And at the end of the day, sentiment really boils down to a bunch of people sitting in rooms looking at charts like this saying buy or sell. And so if we have enough of those shape-shifting lizards screaming by at the top of their lungs because the indicators are doing this, then uh, pretty cool. I like that. And that's the wrap of the Bitcoin news I have for you guys today. Well, that's the whole satchel of enchiladas, my nieces and nephews. Thank you again for watching this episode of Fun Uncle. If you could do me a favor, smash the like, the subscribe, tell me what you think of the content down in the comments below, and keep your ear to the ground for the massive things taking place at Hard Fork Gaming Guild in 2022. Last but not least, I gotta touch on my NFT project. I don't know if you remember, I have 200 unique tropical-themed NFTs available on the OpenSea Marketplace right now. Well, I have launched my fifth and final riddle. It is now live. For those of you who don't know, all you have to do is buy one of my NFTs, go into the unlockable content, you will find a path to one of my riddles, first one to solve it and email me the answer and bam, I will send you $100 in Ethereum. And I've got two of these NFT riddles live right now. So if you think you have what it takes to crack one of my riddles, head on over to OpenSea today. First one to email me the answer, it's a no brainer. I've got two of them live right now. $200 are on the table. If you think you got what it takes, head on over to OpenSea today.